Today, I'm going to walk you through the process of the Bulletproof Ultimate Activation to bulletproof your joints for intense play so that you can jump, bid, cut, and play D quickly and efficiently without ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder pain holding you back. The problem with the old warmups that are traditionally done with Ultimate is that they just aren't very intentional. You're either just sort of jogging around for 15 minutes doing kind of random movements, or someone's leading you through some movements that everybody's been doing for years and nobody really knows why or what the purpose is without really being intentional about actually getting prepared to go 100%. So I created something that better activates the muscles that you use when you're sprinting, jumping, and changing direction. This warm-up prepares you for the impact and sometimes odd motions that we go through in the course of a game. You'll be prepared to hit your top speed to chase down any deep throws, or for quick change of directions in tighter spaces and anything in between. Hi, my name's Dan, and I work with club and professional level ultimate players to take their weaknesses and imbalances that are causing them pain and turn them into pillars of strength so that we can unleash their ultimate potential. Our warm-up philosophy is to work up the body, starting at the feet and ending with the shoulders and arms, so the entire kinetic chain is activated and mobilized for competitive play. We begin with a light stretch, so it's perfect if you've been sitting at a computer all day and are stiff and sore before practice. Then we move into more athletic movements so that you're feeling ready and able to make plays on the very first point. First, to warm up our ankles, we're doing ankle rotations to get the blood pump into the far reaches of your ankle's range of motion so that you can confidently cut in any direction with ankles that are prepared for gameplay. Make sure to keep your quad engaged throughout the movement, go slowly to activate all the small muscles in your ankle, externally and internally rotate your hip to maximize your toe circle. Complete three external rotations and three internal rotations, then point your toe and pull your toe up 10 times. This is a great check for your lower leg and hip mobility. Pay attention to the tightnesses, weaknesses, any clicking or sticking. These are all areas that you can improve with proper training. Next, to warm up our knees for quick stops, cuts, change of direction, and landing, we're activating the first muscle to engage in your knee and the most important muscle for knee protection, the vastus medialis. Hold a plank form with the non-working leg and the rest of the body. Lean back as you bend the working knee and reach the non-working foot forward. When done properly, you'll feel the knee of the working leg engaging. Do 10 reps per leg. The goal is to reach your maximum ankle bend, balanced and pain-free. Improvement is measurable by the reach of the non-working leg while balanced. Then, we focus on the hips with the 90-90 hip rotations and lift. With your head and chest lifted, lower down to your knee and back upright. Slowly rotate till the other leg is in front of you and repeat. Lower and lift your chest five times per leg. Do each leg twice. Everyone will feel this in different ways, so pay attention to where you're tight, weak, or immobile. Those are areas where you could benefit from training. When you fix one area, you'll likely start feeling something else to work on. Now that we've got our blood pumping into our lower body, it's time to start bringing it up the spine with Jefferson curls. Fold over and let your body hang freely. Slowly start to lift and uncurl your spine, stacking vertebrae on top of vertebrae. At the top, open your chest and look up. Each uncurling is one rep. Do two to five, depending on your time available. This is a great way to check in with your back and spine. Any tightness or soreness is a good indicator of weakness and imbalances to work on in your training. Now it's time to get our shoulders ready for all the throwing, marking, and reaching we will be doing, starting with goal post rotations. Start with your upper arms out to the side and 90 degree bends in both your elbows, with the hands and forearms pointing up like field goal posts. Rotate at the shoulder so that your hands and forearms point down like soccer goal posts. Make sure to keep your chest up and shoulders pulled away from the ears. Each rotation up, down, up is one rep. Do one set of 10 reps. This is a great test of your external rotation, which is used most commonly for backhand throws and active hands as a mark. 
Next, we hit our shoulders with a reach and pack movement to help ensure our shoulders are ready to reach up high to make great plays, and then pack well back into the socket for protection. Reach one hand up to the sky and the other down to your side toward the ground. With straight arms sweeping out to your sides, switch which is reaching up and down. After reaching up, make sure to pack the shoulder back and down before sweeping the hand to the ground. Starting with one hand up, rotating down then back up is one rep. Do one set of five reps. Through this exercise you can easily feel imbalances by paying attention to how your shoulders move differently, and these imbalances are great indicators for where you can adjust your training. We round up the shoulder activation with a good stretch with the shoulders front to back. With your palms facing behind you, push them further behind you. Then sweep your arms forward and reach up. Your palms will now be facing in front of you. Feel free to slightly bend your knees and hips as you lower your arms to push your, al your palms back. Reaching up and then back down is one rep. Do 10 reps. And again, this is a great check to see where there is tightness, soreness, any clicking or sticking as indicators of areas you can find improvement in your training. Now that we've effectively focused our body's attention on some of the joints and muscles most important for staying safe when playing, it's time to activate the muscles that we use through the high intensity areas of play with our sprint activation, which breaks down the sprinting movement into three pieces that can be safely warmed up without having to jump into a full blown sprint. First, we activate the middle part of our sprint stride where we are using a lot of ankle strength as we quickly bounce off our toes. With straight legs kicking out in front of you, don't let your heels touch the ground and keep your arms pumping with good sprint form. Then we move to the stepping part of the sprint. This looks a lot like doing high knees, but make sure that you are leaning forward into it like you are sprinting. Keep your heels off the ground and focus on the downward push. The final piece of the sprint is the extension of the leg backward with straight legs kicking backward while you're moving forward. You'll feel this in your glute and lower back as if you were doing a back extension from the ground. Don't worry about the bending of the knee. That happens naturally in your sprint form, but does little, if anything, to add to the actual power and speed. To wrap up, we address the lateral movement that is common in ultimate with side skips. Start by simply skipping in place, and then laterally push off of one foot so that every other skip, you're jumping to the side. During the off skip where you're not moving laterally, don't do anything crazy, just a normal skip to reset for the next lateral movement. As you start to feel more comfortable, pay attention to your arms making a quick movement in tandem with your lateral skip. You'll do 10 to 15 yards with each leg for one rep, doing one to two reps. One last movement here for our vertical movement uh, with a few ass to grass squat jumps. From a standing position, squat down, getting your ass as close to the grass as you can. Keep your hands in front of your chest or out in front of you a bit as a counterbalance. From the deep squat, push all the way up through your ankle, knee, hip, and shoulders range of motion as you explode up. Each complete movement is one rep, do three to five reps. And now that you've moved through your whole body, you'll be warmed up and ready to feel your best playing ultimate. If you wanna feel ready to ball out the very first point of a game, then give this a try yourself before your next practice, game, or tournament, and let me know how it goes in the comments.